Thanks for joining me for this short scale study. Today, we're going to build our tone and technique on our bass clarinets in the key of Concert A minor. Let's review the names and some of the fingerings of the notes that we're going to need for Concert A minor. Concert A minor begins with the note B natural for our bass clarinet. Our second finger on our right hand will help us get that B natural fingering. Then we'll need our C sharp, which is our pinky, and our C fingering. D, E, F sharp, as we know, G, and we'll, then we're going to need an A sharp to make this harmonic minor. A sharp is the same fingering as we use for B flat. Then we'll need our two pinky B natural fingering, one, the one that employs the register key and our thumb in the back, three fingers, three fingers on top and bottom, and then these two pinky keys, here with our left hand and here with our right hand. That is our top note, B natural. Let's practice it by using it in the harmonic minor scale and arpeggio. I've got my metronome set at 70 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, Next, let's keep moving with the harmonic minor scale and arpeggio eighth notes. One, two, and ready, begin. <laughs> Now we'll play minor chords. Remember those F sharps, and also, just as a reminder, remember your B natural, second finger on your right hand. One, two, ready, begin. Next, we're going to play the exercise called thirds. This exercise is quite challenging because we need to consciously and every time remember the note C sharp. It's used an awful lot, nearly every measure. And as I've experienced with my, my real student, my students in my live lessons, that is the often, most oftenly uh, incorrectly played note in this exercise. So remember that C sharp fingering and use it each and every time you see the note C. One and two and ready, thirds, go. Next, we're going to do the chromatic pivot scale. The pivot note for today's pivot scale is F sharp. But in addition to F sharp, we'll need our F fingering, our E fingering. We'll need our D sharp or E flat fingering, which is two notes, two and side, two fingers on our left hand with the thumb. And then our right hand first finger, the side of it uses that lower side key. So that's our D sharp. After the quarter rest, we'll need our fingerings for D, and C sharp with our pinky, C natural, and B natural. One, two, ready, begin. <laughs> Next.
Next, we'll play through the chromatic scale. Please use the fingering guide at the end of this lesson book for help with the fingerings that you're still not quite familiar with. Here we go. One, two, ready, begin. today's advanced scale study with the chorale. In this chorale, the third note is labeled an A sharp. Do you know what the enharmonic equivalent of A sharp is? If you guessed it's the B flat and the B flat fingering, you are correct. The first two notes of our chorale are B natural. Our third note is B flat. See if you can add that as we play or chorale. I want to also point out that there's a repeat sign at the end of the first line of the chorale that I'll be omitting today. I'll be playing the first line and continuing right on to the second line without repeating. One, two, three, one, ready, go. <laughs> There you have it, Concert A minor. I hope you've enjoyed playing along, and I hope this has been helpful and that you've learned something. Consider playing through this page of exercises on your own, or play it again with me. And also consider moving on to some of the other advanced scale studies, both major and minor, some of the basic scale studies, and even on to some of our lesson book studies. See you again soon. Keep practicing.